Know thyself, good sir and milady. In society and other people, even other people, they kind of tell us like to do things a certain way, kind of their way. They try and direct us towards something and they're just trying to help. And they try and get us kind of rigid into these kind of things. You know, school brings us up to have a certain kind of idea of success, a certain kind of ranking without allowing us to express our individuality and finding out our strengths and weaknesses and actually understanding ourselves and then you know working on our strengths and working with our strengths and weaknesses which don't always align with um what other people want or what so what society wants us to do or what school wants us to do i kind of got really attached to this idea of sticking to a craft like the american dream like where you stick to something you see it through you see great success and then you just keep grinding at that one thing. But <laughs> I could never quite make it stick. I could never quite get it to work and I didn't really know why. And I've always kind of been interested and curious and I wanted to get to know myself more. So I've, been, I've looked into personality quite a lot. And recently I looked into Ayurveda and I realized I was a Vata Dosha. We're, and these people are characteristic, character, Characteristicized. what the hell? That's not a word. Their attributes are having an active mind. I have a very active mind. They're easily bored. They need more dynamics and more stimulation. They start strong. They have kind of low stamina, so they need like breaks and they work best, you know, earlier in the morning. And I realized that I was kind of denying this for myself. I was trying to force myself to be this, you know, like nine to five worker that could just work through things and that. And <laughs> I also realized that my motivation, you know, would tank very easily with these sorts of things. And I'd always look for the next thing, look for the next ho ho habit or hobby or thing to get onto, the next thing to kind of get stuck on and delve myself into. And that's kind of what I got motivation from, these novel new ideas. And then I delve into it, get used to it, look for the next thing, delve into it, get used to it, then go to the next thing. And it just led me to having multiple kind of interests and all these kind of things. And I realized that that could actually be a strength because how many athletes do you know that are actually musicians? There's like, I can think of Damian Lillard from NBA. I think he's playing for the Bucks at the moment. Um, Eddie and Ketia and Memphis Depay. They're just a few that I know off the top of my head that are athletes that do music and there's there's not many of them there's not many kind of people that synthesize these kind of things and that i'm able to manage multiple interests and then see success from it and i also realize that having multiple interests i may not be the best at one thing i may not be the best musician i may not be the best actor I may not be the best youtuber I may not be the best philosopher but my strength is that in that I'm attracted to all these different things and I can have all these different perspectives and use them in unique ways in each different kind of category, like in a unique and different way. And recently I kind of realized that I had a lot of shame because lots of people would tell me that I'm very talented at all these different things, you know, like, oh, you're really great at soccer and you're also like a great musician. It's like, what else can you do? Like people are like, you have so many different skills and I was like kind of scratching my head like yeah I'm kind of good at all these different things but I'm not great at anything and I don't have anything to really show for it and it was really frustrated me because I just wanted one thing to have that would give me dividends that would give me results that would give me success and I didn't realize that having these different skills and all these different things can actually be very beneficial if I can direction it and if I can interplay them appropriately and have the variety that I need to keep my mind kind of stimulated in the right manner, you know, but having it in this balanced and condensed kind of way rather than this haphazard kind of way, because I could keep going as I'm, as I've done in the past and try all these different interests for a while, then move on to the next thing then try the next thing then move on to the next thing without actually pulling these things together, sticking to them, gaining some depth and knowledge in them but then still having that variety to keep myself active and <laughs> motivated to keep going with these kind of things. And that's very important to know yourself and kind of realize these things. 
Like for you, it may be something completely different. Maybe you're a different Ayurveda type and maybe you can do the nine to five. Or maybe you're someone, what's the other one? Vata, Vata, Pitta, and I can't remember the other one, but they're all different kind of types. And this is one, this is kind of like a new information that kind of struck me and that I resonated with. And maybe you don't even um, resonate with Ayurveda. Maybe it's the MBTI, maybe it's the five personality test. And I think it's really beneficial to just go into these things and just kind of find and test out. And then you can reflect on your life and go, oh, I thought this was wrong. Like I thought it was wrong to have multiple interests, but it's not. It's just how I'm kind of wired, how my mind likes to work, how I work best. And as I was saying, these things aren't just important that I've been talking about in, in choosing a career and knowing yourself, but also with the friends and people you surround yourself with how you spend your time and even when you get into relationships, how that affects kind of who you choose to be with and how you conduct yourself in that. Because if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what works for you, then you're kind of just going to be floating around in all these different kind of things and you're never going to feel, I never felt quite anchored down because I didn't know what I was trying to get anchored down to. And I was trying to anchor myself down to one thing rather than realizing that I like multiple things so kind of in this paradoxical way anchoring down to more things or even letting myself drift rather than being anchored but make it kind of directioned was what an important insight for me to learn thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video